This week on Art Scene will feature Washed Ashore, Art to Save the Sea, The Didgeridoo of Michael Stanwood, Mosaic Art of Susan Wexler, Denver Arts Week, Chance to Dance, and the Soulful Sounds of R.L. Cole. Speaking of pieces made from discarded materials, let's head back to the studio to Michael Gadlin and mosaic artist Susan Wexler. Everyone wants to know how I got started in mosaics, and how I got started is my grandmother passed away, sure. and I was at um, going through all of her stuff with my cousin, and um, we were in the dining room, and my cousin didn't want any of her china. She right. said, you can have the china. And I found some broken china plates and I couldn't bear to throw them away. I didn't know what to do with them. Okay. So I decided to make something out of it. And so that's how I actually got started as a mosaic artist. I used glass, I used tile, I sure. use glass gems, okay. I use old jewelry, I use pearls. I mean, really, I mean, right. people will bring me bags of discarded treasures, leave it at my studio door, and, right. and there you go, that's my palette. So. I love it. I love using discarded materials. I love the idea of this was once in a family dinner and the stories right. and people gathering, and then it found its way onto an antique shelf, and I found nice. it and repurposed it into something beautiful. Cool. And I love the blue and white palette, and so I brought some things that had the blue and white palette. I have Good. a master's in theater design, costume design, so it was my mother. My mother has always been right. She told me that I should mosaic dresses because of nice. my theater background. Nice. And so these are my signature pieces that I'm known for. These are great, and I love them because they really change that whole tradition of mosaics being on a flat surface exactly. and kind of being square. I love that you challenge yourself to do, they're very sculptural. How you laid these on and got these to be so tiny, and it seems like they're all similar sizes. Is that a tool thing that well, let me show you. Okay, please do. Let's get right okay, into it. Okay, so this is an old blue okay. and white plate. Yeah. They're willows from England, okay? Okay. okay. So um, what I do is I break them, I put them back together, but I keep the integrity of the plate. If I'm going to okay. use something, I want to keep the whole story intact. So these are wheeled glass cutters. Okay. Basically, just stick it in the middle, squeeze. Nice. That and usually it breaks in half. Okay. The smaller the piece, the more exact the cut. Okay? Okay. Most okay. people think I would come here and cut a little piece, but it's really, if I put it in the middle right. and cut, they snap in half. So here, you give it a try. So it's fairly predictable. I mean, you don't want to go too close to the edge because you'll just get shards. So now, yeah, you got to put it in the very okay. middle, stick it in there and squeeze it like you mean it. There I did. you go. Ooh, sweet. So what everybody wants to know is how I get these small little pieces. Yes. They're very even. So it's just kind of having even cuts. Okay. So art is about okay. decisions, okay. and I'm going to use just the edge. This okay. is my piece, so it's my decision, so I'm going to cut right here. Okay. That's what I was looking for. This is wonderful. So these three tiny pieces whoop, have now got to a very similar size. So now, when you, whoop, no, the, so are, are these glued on? So now I know the, these were pre, were these pre-cut this way and this yeah, side. Yeah, these are tiles and okay. this is a glass gem and I, I use everything out of wood. I like a wood base. Okay. I studied with these tramp artists and they showed me how to cut wood, okay. layer things out, and I like that. I like the depth of it. This okay. is a flat piece, more traditional, and then I edge out all my work okay. in a tile. You want all your edges finished. Right. That so these sense. are just tile and I just kind of set up a little structure so then we can add the fun pieces on it. Okay, wonderful. Nice. How do we get to the point where we got the right size to glue onto this? Okay, so let's give it a, so okay. for this particular piece, I'm gonna put a flower in the middle and I was gonna nice. add some ball chain. Just, I like things of different sizes, right. so everything kind of changes. I have my tacky glue. I love tacky glue, it goes on white, it right. dries clear, and it- And it'll stick anything. It sticks anything. Okay. I mean, all this is done with tacky glue. So we're gonna place cool. this piece on the edge here. Okay. So I always put the glue, I don't overthink this, I call it zen in the art of mosaics. I kind nice. of just go with the flow. Okay. 
So we already cut this piece, and we want to make sure it's kind of like a giant puzzle. So we want to make sure that it all goes back together. Okay, in that sort of order that we and cut And you just it stick it right back in. Okay, wonderful, the glue. wonderful. Well, what's nice about the china, it's tile's much thicker. And china, okay. it just cuts so beautifully. Now, wonderful. how long does that glue sit for? You can still work that yeah, before it dries? Yeah, that, yes, that's what I like be... about it. You, there's some play in it, okay. and then it sets up. And if, I don't know, in an hour or two, you say, oh, I don't like that, we can still take it off. Sweet. This particular piece, what I like is it's a really mixture of a lot of things. So it's got the china, it's got the ball chain, it's got a ceramic flower, it's got some glass it. beads, it's got a little bit of everything. Okay. It's got the handle from a teacup. Well, this is wonderful. So a finish would be, what's the last step in, in finishing The last like step this? is to grout it. So the grout okay. really is what pulls it all together. And I like a brown grout. This is a chocolate brown grout. It kind of reminds me of my days in the theater where you would put your dresses in a dye bath to kind of make it sure. age. And the brown grout really kind of ages it, makes it feel more antique or old. And I like using yeah. old things, and so the grout really just pulls it all together. It really And does. it fills in all the little nooks and crannies, and it just brings the whole story together. It is. It's great. Well, and it's neutral enough, right? I mean, it really allows these colors to really pop. Exactly. Love it. Love it. Very cool. This is such a great piece. All your pieces are great. I love the variety. The one behind us, wonderful. I mean, that whole palette and all the different... This is uh, my favorite piece. It's yeah. called My Three Angels. Yeah. Beautiful. You did great work with us today, and I love learning more about uh, you know, the art of mosaic and its exactly. history. Thank Our you so mosaics. much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for being here, Susan. I, I really appreciate it. it.